Rumination is a natural behavior observed in ruminants, which are animals with a four-chambered stomach, such as sheep and cattle. Rumination, also known as chewing cud, is the action of regurgitating, remasticating, and re-swallowing chewed vegetative matter that has been previously taken into the rumen. Mammals lack enzymes necessary to digest cellulose, which accounts for the bulk of organic matter in terrestrial plants. Since the diet of ruminants consists primarily of terrestrial plants, they use microorganisms within the rumen as digestive agents to metabolize cellulose. When food is first ingested, it enters the reticulum and then it's quickly pumped into the rumen where it is mixed with the saliva and churned in a rotary motion causing grinding of the cellulose into a fine suspension that assists in microbial attachment. From the rumen, a bolus of partially digested feed is regurgitated and remasticated in a fixed motion for a consistent length of time, inducing further release of saliva which will both lubricate the chewing process as well as add chemical buffers such as bicarbonate ions and predigestive enzymes to aid digestion. The jaw movements during remastication follow a consistent pattern. The ruminant opens the jaw to one side and swings to the opposing side and closes. The food is then ground against the molars as the jaw remains closed and returns to its original position. The jaw maintains this one-way movement during each rumination period to maximize grinding of the bolus and minimize energy spent. The principal function of rumination is to aid in digestion of plant material. More specifically, rumination acts to further break down plant cell walls so that cell solutes are released and the walls are then exposed to microbial digestion in the rumen. C.B. Tucker hypothesizes that the large rumen could have allowed the ancestors of domestic cattle to ingest large amounts of food quickly while in an open and possibly dangerous habitat and then retreat to a more protected environment to ruminate and proceed with digestion. R. Eubank speculates that rumination could also be an activity to combat boredom in ruminants such as cattle and sheep. C. Phillips suggests that rumination may induce a natural pacifying effect. This is observed as a pensive, sleepy expression acquired by both cattle and sheep during rumination. Cud chewing time is most commonly spent in groups and may be accompanied by mutual and self-grooming activity. It has also been speculated that this accompanying behavior, as well as the act of rumination itself, help to solidify the strong flock instinct in sheep. Rumination will depend primarily on the fiber content as well as the dry matter content of a ruminant's diet. The higher the fiber content or the more dry matter in a ruminant's diet will result in a longer duration of rumination due to the higher concentration of cellulose. Particle size of feed will also affect length of rumination period. Feeds with larger particle size will result in a longer rumination period due to a decrease in surface area to volume ratio. Ruminating is more common at night rather than during the day. It is also more commonly performed while lying down as opposed to standing for conservation of energy. In either position, an upright posture is necessary to keep the esophagus above the ruminal fluid level to maintain proper function. Larger ruminants, such as cattle, will generally digest more efficiently than smaller ruminants, such as sheep due to the larger size of their rumen, as well as the ease with which stable fermentation conditions can be reached in the rumen. The average time spent ruminating per day should measure approximately six to eight hours. Factors affecting duration of rumination are important because, as McDonald et al. point out, the longer the forage is kept in the rumen, the shorter the possible daily intake time per animal. Rumination is under voluntary control. Cattle that are disturbed in some way, for example, taken for milking or isolated from their herd, will cease rumination. Time spent ruminating will decline at stressful times or times of ill health, and so, herds people often look for ruminating activity as a sign of contentment in their cattle and sheep. 